oh, Georgia didn't win by 30. What's going on with the team? What's what's the mood like inside the locker room? Yeah, I mean, um, I guess every game, it's, uh, it's always going to be, I guess, not an uh, easy one to fight off. But um, you just got to have composure throughout a whole game. So I guess in the locker room, we're always saying composure, just keep your heads high. <laughs> Just have the team rocking and rolling. Does it say a little bit, you think, where this program is that everyone's talking about how bad y'all played the past couple weeks? You went by 17 against Kent State and four on the road at Missouri. I mean, yeah, but like I said, it's all about how a team handles and like how they stay composed throughout a whole game. So, I mean, that was a good, I guess, heads up game for us to play against, but um, other than that, yeah. Dom, you had a couple big catches this week. Felt like those are probably the biggest ones you've had since your injury. How good did that feel to, to make some really super important catches in big time plays? I mean, it felt great just being on the field, first of all. But I mean, making some big catches, trying to help the team out like any way as possible, it felt great. Dom, obviously, uh, obviously, your knee is good enough to play. Did you did, do you know? Did you lose anything as a result of that? Like, I mean. Is your top speeds where they were before you had to go through this? Uh, I mean, as of right now, like everything's back to normal. Uh, I'm feeling great out there. Uh, I feel like back in freshman year, like me type dog. But yeah, it feels great out there. Did you do anything in your rehab that helped you as far as coming back from injury? Um, yeah, I did um, a lot of stuff around the knee. Uh, the trainers did a great job of like helping me strengthen my knee and everything around it. So that was probably the main thing. What was one of the biggest things you learned just being patient and on the road to recovery? Uh, I mean, honestly, the biggest thing throughout my whole recovery is don't take anything for granted. Uh, I mean, anything can happen in an instant and everything be gone. But so yeah, I guess not taking anything for granted. You know. it's, it's one thing to make catches in playoff games or garbage time, whatever. To have clutch catches like you did on the road when things are kind of against what personally did that mean to you to be contributing in such a huge way? Uh, I mean, like I said, it feels great just to help a team out any way as possible. Uh, making some big catches and just trying to be something that I could, I guess, help us get a win throughout a team win. You guys, as a wide receiver, court, it's really interesting. Uh, you know, usually it's pretty evident, you know, this guy's an X, this guy's a Y, this guy's a Z. It seems like you guys are just all over the place this year. I'm sure Brock and Darnell's presence has something to do with that, but how would you describe the, the wide receiver core in terms of their versatility and having to be versatile and you know, all the motion and the stuff you're doing is it, it seems a little bit more sophisticated than it's been. Yeah, I mean uh, the wide receiver group they're they're a great bunch. We all we all just try to I guess help the team out where like whatever way is possible. Um, we just keep playing fast, keep playing physical and just do what we can do. Tom, what goes through your mind when you snatched that ball across the middle on an important you know, moment of the game there, you know, given where you've been? Uh, I mean, it felt great, first of all. Um, like I said, it was, it was just a great experience being out there, but making some big catches and helping the team out was a great experience. I, I want to say that catch was third down, I, I think. Is it, is, does the mindset of a receiver change at all on third down? Do you have to keep being more conscious of finding the hole in the zone, finding the sticks, that kind of stuff? What's the mindset of a receiver out there? Uh, I mean, I guess a down and distance and uh, making sure you get the first down. And they always say, like, when you when you catch the ball, get up field. You try to get uh, two plus yards every time you, you catch the ball. Yeah. What's your ceiling as a wide receiver as you come you know, further and further away from your last injury? Say that again. What's your ceiling? How, how much better can you get as you continue to, you know, Further away from that injury. Um, yeah, there's all, there's always, uh, I guess, <clears throat> room for for improvement. Um, you know, I could always get better in any ways possible. But yeah. as a guy who's been here a long time, what's your role with the composure? Composure. Um, yeah, uh, they, we always talk about composure and resilience and everything. So I guess when stuff doesn't go our way, uh, you just always got to keep a level headed, um, stay composed. What do you, what's your do you feel like you need to bring some of those young receivers together? Oh yeah, yeah. Ta talking and I guess talking with other teammates is always a good way to keep everybody composed and everything. What kind of growth have you seen from the younger receivers like Dylan and Jackson Meese and stuff? Like that? Oh yeah, they're 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 a great bunch. Um, they're improving a lot every every single day. Um, it's just fun watching them out there practice, playing hard. And they're awesome.
as a guy that came in and played, had success as a true freshman, is there anything in particular lessons you learned as a true freshman that you're passing along that are on dealing in denial? Uh, yeah, I guess the main thing is, I guess, keeping a level headed, or keeping a level head. Um, don't, I guess, don't take anything for granted, I guess. And uh, just, just keep practicing hard and playing hard. What's your thoughts on Auburn uh, bringing pretty good defense in here? And um, just it's a long story rivalry. So, what's your thoughts when you get ready to play these guys? I mean, we're just gonna come out, practice hard, and get ready for a great group of guys come to, uh, come to Athens, and uh, we're just gonna be ready for them. And have you studied them much? Do you know that much about their defense at this point? Uh, we actually we're gonna start here soon and uh, get ready for a good game coming up. We see in this conference, there's always so many games where finishing strong in the second half is sometimes the difference in winning and losing. As a player, what does that take to come out of halftime and to, to continue to play hard, you know, having good second halves again? I mean, I guess the biggest thing for us was uh, being composed and uh, just keeping a good mindset throughout um, uh, coming out of halftime. And uh, so that was probably the biggest thing. Were there any uh, profound statements? Yeah, we love to hear about uh, you, you're huddling up. Uh, obviously, that last drive where you get the first down catch, you guys, uh, you just had to have it. I mean, it had to be a touchdown. It had to, you had to get all the way down the field. Were there any particular moments you remember in the huddles, the, t the talk, that Stetson say uh, having a great rallying cry or anything like uh, that? Yeah, yeah, I guess we were just trying to stay composed, and we're just trying to stay, I guess, even with the time and everything. So we had to just keep uh, going out and pushing push forward. What's so there the, wasn't any like this, I'm going to be open on this play, Stetson, and when you get the third down. I think, I think all of us receivers are saying that <laughs> in tight ends. <laughs> What's the mood after these last two games where you know, uh, catch day was closer than you guys probably expected, and obviously you need to rally in the fourth quarter this time? Yeah, um, I guess like like I've been saying, I, it's uh, all about composure and resilience and seeing how, how well you can come back from, uh, I guess, something that doesn't go our way. So that's the main thing. I remember you having the big touchdown in 2019 against Auburn. Um, yeah, how special would it be to get back in the end zone post-injury? Uh, I mean, it would be a great experience, I guess. Uh, I haven't been since freshman year, but it would be a great experience just uh, trying to help the team out in any way as possible. You know a lot of those guys over there? You know anybody? Uh, over where? The Auburn team? Uh, Auburn. Um, I know, I guess, a couple guys. Like, uh, I guess, Tyler Fromm, he's a, he's a good guy. Um, it, uh, Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.